Hello, my dear friends and patients. My name is Dr. Vardhaman Gangariya. I am a laser vision correction expert who deals with LASIK, contour lasers, smile lasers, intraocular implants such as ICL and lens exchange procedures with advanced technologies including trifocal eyewears. I am speaking from Asian Eye Hospital from Pune, which is one of the pioneering centers of spectacle corrections in India. We have been doing spectacle removal procedures since 1985 and we have so far performed more than a lakh and 10,000 spectacle vision correction procedures in our journey of last 37 years. Friends, today's video we are going to discuss about one of the most advanced and one of my most preferred technologies for spectacle correction as of today in 2022 which is known as smile laser vision correction so we are going to talk in depth about what is this smile laser technology how does it differ from the traditional basic technologies what are the advantages of smile versus basic in which patients we can do it are you candidate who can consider smile procedure and in which patients we may avoid doing a smile procedure so all these things we are going to take one by one and at the end of the video I am sure that you will have good enough knowledge to make your own decision about which technology that you would like to prefer. So friends, before we go to the smile technology, let us first discuss about what has been traditionally done. Uh, all the lasers, what we call as laser vision correction, they change the focus of your cornea. Your cornea is the most strong lens of the eye. And this is the lens which actually focuses all the image that is coming to the retina then the retina is known to process it and that is how we see clearly. When you have spectacles, this cornea is not able to focus the light onto your retina. It is either focusing your light ahead of retina or behind the retina. And the work of laser is to refocus this cornea into the right way. Traditionally, the lasers which have been done for such a long time have been called as LASIK procedures. So the LASIK procedures, they change the shape of your cornea very subtly, very accurately, so that the cornea is able to refocus again within a span of few minutes. This surgery has been successful for the last almost three decades. However, this surgery had certain drawbacks because to perform a corneal reshaping procedure in LASIK surgery, we first required to cut the cornea into a flap. After that, another laser was used, which is called as an eczema laser, to reshape your cornea underneath, and then the flap was put back in its place. So the need of the flap creation was the main drawback of the LASIK procedure. And this is the main reason why SMILE has been invented. So friends, SMILE is the current generation minimally invasive flapless LASIK surgery platform. So this procedure is patented technology by Carl Zeiss Germany and this is currently the only procedure available in the world which is 10 second driven flapless LASIK technology as such. What is SMILE? SMILE is an acronym for Small Incision Lenticule Extraction. So as the name suggests, this surgery does not involve a flap. This involves a very small incision through which we do the laser and a small lenticule is removed so that we are able to change the shape of your cornea very very accurately in a matter of seconds and your cornea is able to see the world without glasses in a completely penless fashion. I am going to take you through with a small animation of the smile now. So friends, as you have seen, the smile is actually done through a very minimally invasive approach. And this surgery, although it is currently the latest generation procedure, 
the first smile was done more than 15 years ago in Germany. So this surgery has been around for a very long time and this has got USFD approval approximately 7 years back. We have been doing the laser vision correction and spectacle removal from 1985 and we have been doing the smile procedure since 2014. For the last 8 years, smile has been one of my preferred platforms for spectacle corrections for all my patients who come to Asian Eye Hospital. So far, more than 3 million, that is more than 30 lakh people around the world have received spectacle correction through a SMILE procedure successfully. So next question is, what are the advantages of small incision lenticular extraction, which is SMILE over the traditional LASIK procedure? SMILE offers several advantages to you over the traditional LASIK. First, that it is a minimally invasive procedure. The cut which is created on the cornea and smile is just 2 mm. As against in LASIK, the cut which is created for the flap making is close to 27 mm. So, smile is a very minimally invasive technology. The second advantage of smile is being flapless procedure. Because of the flap, the LASIK itself can impose certain complications such as flap displacements if there is a chance of getting hit in the eye with a strong force in the future even after 10 years of LASIK. The flaps sometimes do not heal extremely well and may cause sometimes what is called as striations over the flap. Sometimes they can cause uh, cells growing between the flap and the underlying cornea surface which is called as epithelial input. Smile being flapless procedure we avoid all these complications. The third advantage of smile because of the small minimally invasive cut is the smile retains majority of your corneal sensations after the laser correction. Therefore, the dry eye which is induced after the laser procedure in smile is seen to be two times lesser as compared to the LASIK procedure. The LASIKs are known to give rise to more derangement of the corneal sensation because there is more corneal nerves which are being cut because of the flap creation. At the same time, the dryness in LASIK is seen to be two times higher than in smile procedure. The fourth advantage of smile is basically because again of minimally invasive procedure, the smile retains majority of the corneal strength after the laser. As compared to the LASIK, it leaves behind much stronger cornea. Leaving behind much stronger cornea also means more stable outcomes for you in long term as compared to the LASIK procedures as such. For higher corrections, more than six diopters or spectacle prescriptions, spine is known to induce less amount of halos and glare as compared to equivalently done corrections with the help of LASIK that gives rise to much better quality of vision overall to you. And there is a research which has shown in a contralateral study in which they have performed one eye spine and the other eye with LASIK and they have seen in long term the stability of the correction with the laser was much better with SMILE as compared to the LASIK procedure. Again, the advantage is because of the minimally invasive nature of the SMILE laser procedure as such. So these are the advantages of smile laser over the traditional LASIK procedure. So friends, how will you know whether you are a candidate who can consider the smile correction procedure for your eyes? Your age has to be more than 18 years. Your spectacle prescription has to be stable for more than 6 months. Your spectacle prescription should be less than 9 diopters of myopia. You should have a very healthy examination finding of the eye which includes a corneal scan which demonstrates a good corneal thickness and no corneal diseases. A dry eye profile workup will be done by your eye doctors which will demonstrate either minimal or no dryness in the eye. And most importantly, your overall eye health has to be very good including your retinal examination. So, if you fulfill all these criteria, you can very well be a great candidate for smile procedure.
so who are the candidates who may not be good enough for smile list so if your age is late less than 18 years if your prescription is not stable if you have an extremely high prescription more than 9 day after of myopia if you are a female and you are pregnant or you are lactating in the first 6 months of delivery if you suffer from any collagen vascular disorders and if your cornea demonstrates a disease called as keratoconus so if you are having one of these factors then you may not be considered for smile laser vision correction one of the benefits of smile is that you have to take very little care after the surgery because the incision is extremely small it heals within 24 hours the majority thing that you have to do is the first Three days, you have to make sure that you do not leave any dust, any contaminated water, or any trauma that will happen to your eye. There are going to be certain prescription drops that your eye doctors will be giving you for faster and an optimal healing of your cornea after the smile laser procedure. And majority of you will be off to completely normal life after the first three days are over. And during the first three days also, you will be absolutely normal at home. and there will be very minimal restriction on you of course you should avoid certain things in the first one week such as swimming going into contaminated water such as sea rubbing your eyes too harshly uh, you will be given a shield to put on your eyes when you sleep in the first for the first three days so that you don't rub your eyes accidentally during uh, sleeping in the night uh, and along with the drops especially the lubricant drops these are the only drops you can continue for a longer time maybe three months to six months time but otherwise all the other prescription drops will be given to you only a matter of one week time so one of the advantage of smile is also faster uh, anatomical healing which lets you go back to your normal activity so friends in conclusion we have seen that smile is a innovative minimally invasive approach of the laser vision correction for the candidates who are deemed suitable by their eye surgeons If you are a candidate who is considering laser vision correction, you must talk about smile procedure to your eye doctor. And if you are a good candidate, definitely smile is one of the most preferred ways of performing the laser vision correction for you. Thank you.